We're rolling right along here. Uh, welcome back, YouTube family. Uh, welcome back, here by Data Science Channel. We're, we're, in, we're into the home stretch. We're uh, as a, as a one announced yesterday. We're rounding third and heading for home. We got Portugal, Sweden, and the U.S. data for the, to run our data reports. Let's take a look at Portugal's vaccine rollout program. Okay. Okay, John Hopkins University. That doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> Let's take a Portugal's vaccine rollout program. Okay, we can see that Portugal has administered uh, 19 million doses. Of those doses, well, let's see something here. Uh, 9.1 million people have, have received the first dosage, and 9.08 million have been fully vaccinated. Well, someone from California is trying to call me. I don't think it's that important. So I'm going to, uh, there. I pressed ignore on my phone. I, I think ignore may actually send it to voicemail. Certainly don't know anybody in California. Hey, who knows? Maybe it was a, uh, maybe it's a recruiter. Oh, I do got a message. Okay. Let's see what this message is here. That was interesting. It was actually from Verizon. They wanted, they wanted me to sign up for a special thing of a visual voicemail, which means that it does, it does a, uh, a voice to text message for the, uh, for the, uh, for your, for your voicemails. I'm not interested. And you can see here that 
uh, Portugal has administered 90.2 percent of the population has received one shot, and 89.3 percent have have been fully vaccinated. Okay. So now let's take a look at the COVID-19 daily numbers. Okay, Portugal, let's take a look at your numbers. So you can see here on January 28th, Brazil's or Portugal's cases spiked at uh, 16,432. They had this big long declining pattern down here, triple digit, low triple digits, a spike here, a dip, and then another spike over here on December 24th at 12,943 cases before falling back on 1226 to 3,732 cases. Now it is possible this number may go up because you know, there just be some reporting agency who didn't report, uh, didn't report yesterday. So what about deaths? Well, look at this. Uh, on January 28th, uh, Portugal had 303 deaths for a single day. Come over here, look down here, you can see that that number fall all the way down to 13 for a single day on, on December 26th with an average of 16.6 deaths per day. Now, let's look how crazy, though. These line here is 25,000. Look at all these weeks when, you're, when, you're, when your cases were just really, really low towards the end of the year. But now you can see a four, five, six-week increase going over here. Hopefully, uh, this week is going to begin a new downward trend. So you can finish up there with a declining pattern with COVID-19 cases in Portugal beginning to decline again. What about deaths? Well, look how, look how crazy, though. This here is uh, 131 deaths for a single week. Look how crazy low uh, Portugal's deaths were. Even though it's a small country, look how crazy low they are. What about case monthly cases? Well, look at this. Look at look at look at these crazy low numbers here. Then again, this declining pattern here. So so unfortunately, it does look like Portugal is going to finish at, going to end the year on unfortunately on on a, on an upturn in, uh, in COVID-19 cases. What about deaths? Well, look how crazy, you know, I want to say that this is the, uh, of the two numbers, deaths is the most important one because that is how diseases are measured. Diseases are measured by deaths, not by cases and not by hospital beds and stuff like that. Uh, you know, Washington University says that the single best measure of the spread of a pandemic is deaths, daily deaths, okay? In Portugal, even if Portugal is a small country, your your death your your death counts are still crazy low. All right, so that does conclude the report for Portugal for today. Let's just upload this data here. Then we'll then we'll just uh, roll on over into uh, into Sweden. Okay, so that does include a report for Portugal. They'll be right back in one moment with the report for Sweden and the U.S.